With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. This is Red Lantern Russell from Tomes of Evil. And you're listening to Sector 2814, a Green Lantern podcast. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luke of Parrot, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. In brightest day. In blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern podcast. I am Phil. Joining me, as always, Master of the Core, it is... I am Will. Hey, everyone. And we got some comics for you to talk to about tonight. We got some new stuff to talk about tonight. So, all no, kinds of stuff. Not a TV show, but you know. Yeah, I, is it canceled? Is it not? Is it gonna be? Supposedly, it's still on the thing, but you know, we were hoping 2023. Now it might not be till 2024. So. Okay. You know what? You know what? Let them take the extra year. If they can get it right, let them take the extra year. Exactly. Yeah. We don't need another movie. No, we Fiasco. don't. <laughs> Actually, we do need another movie, but we need a good movie. <laughs> yeah, no, not not what came before. Yeah, we don't need another one like that. Unfortunately. Yeah. All right. So where sh- <laughs> where shall we begin? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll start with because this came out last week. Uh, yep. Dark Crisis: World Without a Justice League. Okay. I mean, it's basically John. You know, all the Justice League are trapped in their perfect little, you know, world. Fantasies. Yeah, and I guess like John's like re- suppo- like supposedly retired, but and like he's on a like almost looks like a farm with. I'm assuming that's supposed to be. I think it's his grandmother and his. Uh, I guess his dead sister, but you know, they're basically like, oh well, you know, you. He basically used his powers to bring the sister back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Can we get a Red Hood Green Lantern in this? Is this working? Yeah, yeah, because there's a bunch of Green... Yeah, because Red Hood is one of the Green Lanterns, which... Yeah, don't ask me why that is, but... No, basically, John's, like, retired and living on this farm until, like, this weird demon thing shows up and all the Lanterns go to fight and it. They can't beat it, so... They call on John, okay. <laughs> y- yes, looking very Superman-esque, and they call him the Guardian. Okay. <laughs> so, Yeah. So who's the right? Who's the writer of this? Uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson, who's writing action comics right now. Like, okay. he, like he's writing the Superman on World World stuff right now. So, I, I didn't know if it was uh, Jeff Jeffrey Thorne or not. No, it was not. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, the story there there wasn't much to the story. That's pretty much it. But they they've been doing backups in these, like in the Superman one. Uh, there was an Aquaman backup. This one had a Hawk Girl backup. You know, and which is weird because her, I guess her fantasy world was like a world where she can actually die and not be reincarnated. Okay. That's... <laughs> but how do you know? Anyway, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but, but yeah, I mean, it was decent, but yeah, there were, there really wasn't a lot. And again, the whole thing's like, a, like, you know, he's trapped in this fantasy world. So is it just a one shot or are they? Well, yeah, because there was one Superman one. There was this one. There's going to be, of course, you know. For some of the Justice League, but it, and, and you know it's at at some point you know who's gonna get one. So uh. yeah, Batman, my favorite character. <laughs> well, I did something strange this weekend. Um, do I want, do I want to ask? Sure. I uh, I I have uh, Invictus and Horatius, uh, the Green Lantern volume trades. Oh, okay. So I sat down and I read them straight through, and I have to say it read better in one sitting than it did stretched out over you know mm. a year mm. you know, because I really feel like the I really feel like it struggled yeah because we were only getting you know 10 pages for each story 
yeah a month and it just felt like it was moving so slowly it doesn't feel as slow when you're reading it all at once it's oh yeah I'm, I'm sure it doesn't yeah which is a good thing but you know writing for the trade is not necessarily a good thing you know it needs to work month to month as and also in the trade so i uh i, mean, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's the greatest Green Lantern ever, but it's not. I think it's maybe unfairly criticized a little bit. Um, but the uh, the things that I think are most criticized of it, you know, hey, you got to explode the battery. You got to get rid of the Guardians. It's been th- been there, done that. Yeah, we've been there, done that. We've got the t- literally have the T-shirt. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been done several times. Uh, but yeah, I, again. I, th- they say that is like I mean you can attest to this. I mean writing a, writing comics is unlike writing anything else, movies, TV shows, book, you know, regular books, anything like that, right? Well, TV shows I think come closest to it because it, it is serial episodic, fiction. yeah, it's episodic. And I, I feel like I really feel like it could have been perhaps handled better uh, in that maybe those two stories didn't have to be in the same book, but if mm. they were going to be in the same book, then. You know, why not make the book double sized? Yeah. So that, you know, we could get the story faster. Because, I mean, I, I really feel like, that, and that I, I feel like was an arbitrary thing handed down. You know, it's front half, back half. You know, the stories are going to connect eventually, and they did, you know. Mm-hmm. But it, it made each of those stories feel really, really slow. I mean, I haven't reread it yet, but. <laughs> It, it, does it almost seem like he wrote one one complete story and then they just like chopped it up, you know, so they could have something each month? You know, it's and it doesn't it doesn't really feel like that to me. It was it felt like it's going to be twelve issues. These things have to happen in this side, you know, mm. back on yeah. home base, and these things have to happen on this side. So they will. These are how we're going to fill those beats, right? And yeah, get to get to the point. I don't think the format helped it. I really don't. Yeah, no. Uh, you know, because it, it does. It works better in trade. Um, I'm still annoyed that we don't have an ongoing Green Lantern title. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I think that I think that kind of that's kind of like hurts modern comics where it's like they put out monthly issues, but then it's like you have to think about you know the trade and stuff because it's like certain stories you can do monthly, but other ones it's like. If they didn't want to give us twelve issues, if they wanted to give us two oversized books, that would have been fine with me. But just or four, pick or the six, pick the know, format. Yeah, make the story. It's just it, it felt to me as we were reading it month to month that we weren't really getting a large enough chunk of story. Because yeah, no, no, really, yeah, yeah. There were really two stories. You know, we would get a yeah a chunk of you know Oa, and we would get a chunk of the dark sector and it didn't ever feel like enough of a chunk no yeah no that i i, I felt that exactly every time i thought i was reading it was good but i was just like uh uh-huh, okay well that that's it for this month okay uh okay when okay next month here we come yeah <laughs> but speaking of green lantern title yes title. we got an announcement of uh we finally got an announcement for something new uh yeah i was gonna look for the link here uh Yep. All right. So the other day I sent this to Will. Uh, headline DC Comics announces John Stewart, the Emerald Knight number one. Which did you see though? Uh, it's a four, it's going to be a 48 page one shot. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see that. I, like, I started rereading it after I sent it to you and I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is, yeah, they're saying, yeah, 48 page John Stewart Emerald Knight one shot reunites Jeffrey Thorne and Marco Santucci. So I have questions. If. Okay, I still have lots of questions. Um, hang on, let me. All right, all right. Well, you compose your thoughts. Uh, DC has announced a new Green Lantern one shot coming this November called John Stewart, the Emerald Knight number one, written by Jeffrey Thorne with artist Marco Santucci. John Stewart will. Uh, John Stewart will have to become something greater as he squares off against a god gone mad. The book arrives in comic book stores and participating digital platforms Tuesday, November 29th. Okay, so. The rings that still exist, right? Mm-hmm. Do they charge off the beacon now? I would assume it's like why or else do would they you charge put... off a battery that charges off the beacon? I guess. I would assume you would have batteries, wouldn't you? You know, if you could, 
if John put if if John went all nostalgic like to give Hal Ab and Sir's ring back, don't you think they would they, they would do lanterns? Have a battery, yeah, yeah ba- so, power battery, yeah. Two, I hope that doesn't mean that the yellow impurity thing is back because mm. no. And then also, hopefully the rings are gas tank, not you know twenty four hour charge. Mm. That's true, yeah, because of Hal has Ab and Sir's ring. Yeah, it's true. But the other thing is, you know. For any Green Lanterns that have rings and batteries in the dark sector, are they back online? I mean, inquiring minds want to know. I'm wondering if they put this one shot out. Maybe, maybe, maybe Jeffrey Thorne's story wasn't where he wanted to get it at the end of the day. You know, maybe, maybe that's why we didn't get a lot of answers in twelve because he had to wrap it up early. So maybe they're giving him this oversized one shot to tie up stuff. Maybe I don't know. I guess I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I mean. It's a double-sized one-shot, so 48 pages. 48 pages, it says, yes. So basically two issues. Yeah. See, I thought the story still had the story that he wanted to tell, at least according to what I've read and seen you know, him talk about on various interviews, was three parts, each part 12 issues, right? Yeah. So you know, we're only a third of the way into it, right? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Yeah. Uh... John Stewart has been trapped in the dark sectors for months with the rest of his Green Lantern comrades. With the power of the God Storm at his disposal, John's using everything he can to take down Isak, the mad new god, and bring his fellow Corpsmen home. John will need to become something new to win the war against Isak. He'll need to become the Emerald Knight. Hmm. That doesn't sound like the other core members are going to be powered to me. Yeah. So is this taking place after that whole series, or is this taking place in the middle of it? I think it's after. I think it's the next because uh, at the end of number twelve, you know, it says you know John Stewart will return in uh, you know Green Lantern and the Emerald Knight. So I assume this takes place right after it because he's already you know eaten the God Storm basically. So yeah. Okay, this is very weird. Okay, this seems. Tell me if this seems weird to you. It's saying you know uh, you can read about all things John Stewart on DC Universe Infinite. You know, there's Future State. You know, Jeffrey Thorne series is on there. DC Universe Infinite is not intended for children and is not available in all countries. Hmm. So we're n- <laughs> not for children. I mean, there's old comics on there. I mean, even if the new stuff's not, you know, but yeah. there's old stuff on there. Looks like they would have a rating system or something. Yeah. Could- oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah. Curious. Yeah. Good idea. I- don't, don't, yeah. Don't, don't pander comics to children. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cause your aging fan base will be around forever. Exactly. Um, I've read that there is a uh, a Green Lantern story that was digital only. Mm. Um, it was it was something frontier. No, I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. But uh, I was I just found out about it, so I was I was kind of curious. I, I'm gonna have to hmm. look it up. It may be not. Maybe it wasn't on. No, it was on uh, Comicsology. I think. Oh, I really? It probably is on. It probably is. So yeah. Yeah. DC Infinite too. Do you, you don't remember a name or anything? No, I'll have to look it back up. It was nope, I can't remember it. I'll have to, I'll have to go hunt it back down afterwards. Yes. Uh... So we do have a Green Lantern one shot. Still no Green Lantern ongoing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, maybe in January. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is what this? Is do we do we have any idea on the? I mean. I always assumed that John Stewart would be getting a series, and that Thorne would be writing it. Is he going to be writing the Man Green Lantern series too? That's what I'm saying. Come January, who knows what we're going to get? But uh... mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds like uh, Marco Santucci's doing the art, which is great. He's a really good artist. I mean, is, does that mean Tom Rainey will be doing the art for the, the ongoing Green Lantern series? Are we going to have a different? Yeah, there's just yeah. Hope the lack, the lack of Green Lantern news is. Not often. Well, again, I mean, I mean, it's it's weird over there because again, because of Dark Crisis, there's no regular Justice League book right now. There's no Green Lantern book. There's no Aquaman book right now. There's no Green Arrow book right now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But there's Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> and Wally West is in the Flash book. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, they only Wally is only being published because you know there's another person called the Flash that could be in a book. You know. That obviously can't happen with Green Lantern. Yeah, no, co- no, of course not. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah, I get. Yeah, 
again, I don't, I, I don't understand. Yeah, because if you had a regular Green Lantern book, you could be doing Dark Crisis tie-ins right now. Uh huh. Completely and totally. Mm-hmm. So did uh, did this one shot tie in at all to what's happening outside of John's kind of dream world? No. Okay. It was all set in John's dream world. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because I thought maybe we'd see Hal since it almost looked like he had got dropped in there in Dark Crisis number three, but yeah, no sign of Hal. So. Well, and I'm so curious about the continuity between the end of the Thorn series and, you know, we saw multiple yeah. lanterns. Yeah, all the, basically everyone but John back, yeah. Dead, uh, Dark Sector, <laughs> not a Green Lantern anymore. <laughs> Again, maybe John did more rebuilding and resurrecting, but, you know, in the middle there, but. It's just, I mean, it's strange. They went through a whole lot of trouble to set up a new status quo that they completely ignored for Dark Crisis. If it looks like that. Wonder if that Emerald Night Night one shot will give us some answers there too. Maybe I don't know. Could have some pockets of hyper time. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Now into some brighter news. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I showed Will. I thought that, I thought this has been out before, so I don't know if this is old or I, it looked like it had been announced as new. But yeah, there's a. Uh, Cal Rayner White Lantern Funko. Uh, I think you said it's glow in the dark too. Right? Yes, it does. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yep, glow in the dark. Very cool. Uh, forty dollars. <laughs> oh, well, at least that's what this site's saying. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is older or not, but yeah, I'm looking at BigAppleCollectibles.com. So, uh, yeah, because they had a few um, guys that. <laughs> I saw one, I saw one online the other day. I was like, "Oh, where's that at?" Uh, you know, is that like an Eradicator Funko? <laughs> you know, the Superman oh, okay. character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Yeah, they're so. You know what? I try not to go down that rabbit hole too much because I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I know, like, if I ever go, I, you know, if I want to get like one of those bigger, like Galactus ones, but I'm like, I know if I get that, I'm gonna have to get all the Fantastic Four to put around it, stage a battle scene. Oh, yeah. If I pick up one of the original X-Men, I'm going to have to pick up all five. Uh, That's right, yeah. Well, it looks like there's one on... Uh, this is a Fugitive Toys. It looks like there's number 237. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was that. I don't know. This one This one doesn't necessarily say it glows in the dark, so I don't know if it's the same one. Or yeah, something. I wonder maybe if they put out a new one that glows in the dark or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because I went on Amazon. There's one, but yeah, I don't know if it glows in the dark or not. Oh, yeah, the Fugitive Toys exclusive. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at right now, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 not that, not the one I sent you, but I just went on Amazon. Yeah, that one's on there, so. Yeah, that's the, yeah. it looks like it's the same one, number 237. Unless they re-released it now, it glows in the dark or something. Yeah, weird. Okay, cool. Mm. Well, on Amazon, it's 2874, so there we go. <laughs> well, there's a, ooh, ooh, that one's uh, only 1170. I, I keep looking at a Captain Adam one. Ah, <laughs> Then there's oh. Black Lantern, mm-hmm. Black Lantern, uh, Black Hand. <laughs> Did you see it? they have like a five pack of like Captain America like through the ages? Oh no, I haven't seen that. Yeah, that, that's pretty interesting because there's like the World War Two one, and then there's like a classic one. One is like that one, that, you know, gr- he was wearing that armor. Gr- Grunwald put him in towards the end of that run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was pre Cap Wolf, right? Yeah, or, oh, after, Cap-Wolf. after, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I think there might be a movie one. There's like one other one, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so should we get to tonight's issues? <sighs> I guess so. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So. Yeah, I know. All right, so yeah, <laughs> like I said, we'll get to. I believe Green Lantern: The New Core comes first, so let's talk. Yep. Two issues. I don't have a synopsis, so. Uh, but here, let me hold on. I do have dates and creators, so. Uh, all right, Green Lantern: The New Core number one came out February nineteen ninety nine. Uh, it doesn't even get. I don't know. If I even have a title. All right, writer Chuck Dixon. I thought Mars did this, but no, it's Chuck Dixon. Chuck Dixon, yep. yeah. Yeah, penciler Scott Eaton, uh, inker Annabelle Rodriguez, uh, colors Chris Chuckery. Letter of Janice Chiang and editors Kevin Dooley and Harvey Richards. Yeah, so my memory, I thought this was Mars, but yeah, now it's Chuck Dixon. It, maybe, maybe some, maybe any problems you have with the story, maybe that's why, because it's not the regular writer. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it be, because because we see Cal, you know, go. We know he went off into space to try to restart the core, which I forgot to bring this up. Like, what was that last week? 
I'm like, wait a minute. So he just like left his girlfriend during Christmas. I mean, he might have left before Christmas, but he, he like he left her at Christmas. You couldn't wait till like days or maybe a, a week, week after Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, start January first. Start, you know, yeah. make a new year resolution. I'm going to restart the core. The universe right. has been without a core for how long now? I mean, I think it can wait another week or two. Yeah. Um, I don't know this. Okay, I have one question for you. Yes, sir. Who chose Hal Jordan to be a Green Lantern? Abin, sir. No, his ring. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, if this is a duplicate of Hal's ring, why sure. can't Kyle just say, go find somebody that's worthy? Because Kyle <laughs> didn't think of it? I don't <laughs> Until or there's not a central power battery, so there's no... I, I, just, it, like, it, it seems okay. like until I think I think at least until rebirth, I don't think there's really a lot of talk in the rings and stuff or rings talking back. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they they've told the rings to do things and the rings will go do those things. Yeah. Right? So I don't know. I, I was just it's like, uh, isn't that the way the ring works? You just oh, hey, here's a ring. You, know, you flip it into the air and say, go find somebody that's worthy. It should be. Uh, and I, I don't know this. I like Green Lantern. I love Green Lantern. <laughs> But this, this, this series, the art was good on the series. Yeah. I like the art. Yes, I don't think the writing was bad. I no, it wasn't just, bad, but just. It just seems like this. It almost it, seemed like they needed an excuse to put out two prestige format issues. Yeah, because it, it fundamentally doesn't change anything. I don't think Kyle really learns anything. Uh, he finds. Now, uh, this. <laughs> okay. Chipmunk Green Lanterns, Cat Red Lanterns. I'm down, right? Yeah, yeah. But a Russian cosmonaut being thousands of light years away. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm like. So you're telling? Wait, did she float there? Since what was it? The was it the 50s or 60s? I'm like, 60s? so she yeah, she just yeah. like floated out here all, all this time. And and I'm like a woman. I'm like, were they sending women up in the 60s? I think so. Okay. Maybe. Anyway, it was. I was like. That strained my credulity. Yeah, was it was that just oh hey we wanted like a uh, attractive human looking female in here? Maybe I I mean I don't know it it was just and then you know don't get me wrong you know I know Green Lanterns need to you know take their lumps and everything but this is Kyle who a few short weeks a few months just contained a supernova yeah and he gets taken out like a punk in a no, in a border a space station, in a, right? In a bar brawl. <laughs> in a bar brawl. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and we'll ag- go with it. We'll just go with and it. And again, we're not talking to this ring, but I'm like, I, even back then, I was like, can't can he like program that thing? And where it's like, oh yeah, you know, nobody can take that off unless I tell it to come off. Yeah, <laughs> or if they touch it, maybe. You know, incapacitate them. Ah, uh, true. Rock them or do something. He's he's worked with Batman enough. He should know to booby trap that thing. Exactly. <laughs> I know. And then, like the first guy he gives the ring to, turns out to be like this like brutal dictator, <laughs> Sinestro. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, he seems like a good guy. I mean, he's like the redneck version of Sinestro. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know it. Okay, you're going to restart the core. You're going to choose people to be Green Lanterns. What's your criteria? And he pulled the, and he pulled a kid. He was like, oh, yeah, this guy seems good. He's like fighting for a good cause, which he doesn't even know. And yeah. he was completely wrong. And then he pulls a Gant that he's like, oh, yeah, here's a ring. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing I did kind of like is that the dude used the ring to rebuild stuff and then went closer to the black hole so time passed. Yes. Actually, and they got that backwards. Because time would have passed more slowly for them, so. <laughs> well, well, I don't know if the explanation was the ba- greatest, but I thought that was the idea that yeah. he was like, "Yeah, I slow, you know, will, we went in there faster for us, so that we yeah, I spent it. like a decade or two learning how to do, yeah. you know, use this thing, and then and then yeah. you would have thought that with that much more experience, even though yellow still affects his ring, that he would have been a tougher opponent for Kyle. You know, with yeah, that much more experience. Yeah, that because with that he should have more experience than Calvin. Oh yeah, because he have twenty years, I think, is what it said, or two decades. Or yeah, whatever. something like that. I don't know. There was just, but yeah, I mean, then we put together. I mean, the... it was it, it's passable, but it's definitely not you know yeah up there on the on the list. I mean, yeah, I mean, we basically put his team together with that that Hammeroon. I mean, 
Is that supposed to be Pip the Troll or Rocket Raccoon? I don't know. I don't know. And then there was the one that wanted four rings because he had four arms. So. Yeah. Ah, the How Jordan conundrum, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Have ten fingers. Exactly. Oh my god, he should have been like, <laughs> I was going to say, did he have five fingers on each hand? I need 40 <laughs> rings, or no, 20 rings. That. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, like you said, then they find that uh, Russian cosmonaut, which again, so that that her capsule just floated this far out. I, again, we don't know how far Cal's out, but yeah. I love how Kyle tells Hammer and Aaron how he's like he was having trouble like finding people. He's like, oh, I want I want to doubt it. You're like in the boonies. Yeah, <laughs> you're out in the space sticks. <laughs> yeah, then they go to that space station. <clears throat> Nowhere. Uh, <laughs> and then I mean, he doesn't get a ring yet, but he, and then that judge gets a ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. There was just, I mean, Chuck Dixon's done a lot of really good work. I don't think this ranks up there. It's yeah, no. It's really just kind of passable, and ultimately, because of what happens to the you know the additional rings, it you can completely ignore it because it it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, I'm like at the end of this, did he, I mean I get taken the ring away from what's his face, the brutal dictator? But I'm like, you couldn't let your friends keep their ring. They proved that they were willing to lay their lives down for. And they're st- and they say st- and the rest of them still say they're gonna you know stay together as a team or whatever. Yeah, and you know, even if even or is it just oh hey all right spoilers Hammeroon dies so it's like oh I don't want I don't want anyone else's death on my conscience or whatever. I guess. But I me guess. but meanwhile these are ha- copies of Hal's ring so like we even say in this you know there's like that you know that that reserve energy that's like oh it'll save you from yeah. mortal danger and stuff so. Yeah, and that's. That's something that I think um, we really kind of just look a little bit away from, you know, post rebirth. Yeah, because you know, the, the yellow impurity. I guess they're still operating under the assumption that the yellow impurity is in the rings, and Kyle's ring is different. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I get, I'm thinking. I mean, the yellow impurity, you no know, twenty four hour thing. I mean, that's good, good things. But I think Ganthan basically just like. I mean, look at Emerald. Yeah, then we'll try. I think Ganthit just like really quickly threw a ring together. It's just like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it, uh, but I mean, the gas tank model makes so much more sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, what? So again, did they ever explain it? Uh, it would make more sense where it's like, oh, hey, the Guardians put that 24 hour thing on there just so nobody could go nuts for more than like a day. Or maybe, or it was. The rings could only hold a charge for that amount of time. Uh, I mean, bad batteries. Long. Okay, yeah. I mean, but you know, the it's one of the things I really loved about Rebirth was you know the rings would give you their charge. Oh, you they'll, know, they'll the tell you. Caption. Yeah. You know what? How much percentage you have left? To the decimal point. Yep. And then uh, you know they started they started talking. You know, oh, well, <laughs> we'll get there, William. You know what? I was thinking the other day. You know what? Maybe we blundered, you know what? Because again, sub- September is coming, kids, and Will and I are going to be doing some uh, Legion of Superheroes in-, in September. I was like, you know what? We could have did, could have just did two Green Lantern episodes a week, and we could have got the rebirth that much quicker. Will? <laughs> nah, that that is quite all right. I mean, the, you know, this is at the time, you know, I there was so much that I missed about the core, you know, mm-hmm. and, the, and and you know, of course, Hal and. At that point, I didn't even know I missed Guy, right? <laughs> and John. But, you know, the thing that the thing that Emerald Twilight gave us was, you know, Kyle by Ron Mars, which lasted, what, he's up to like 125, I think? Or something yeah. Like that. mm-hmm. So that's 75 issues. That's six years, right? A little over six years of pretty much, a, a, you know, the same writer. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of fill-ins, I think. And then... A, a, a rotating stable of you know three or four artists, right? Yeah. So the the creative team was really consistent, and it it really I think you know it showed you hey what what do you miss about Green Lantern? You know, if it's not there, you can then miss it, right? So take it all away, and then slowly start building it back up. And you know that's what Mars was doing, you know, reintroducing some of the things you know the core. Mm-hmm. Well, sort of the core. 
uh, but you know the idea of all that legacy you know the the organization we don't know where Gantt is at the moment right i don't think yeah because because like hal absorbed him but then he didn't I don't, I don't well yeah because before hal died remember at the you know and that uh before hal died uh yeah Gantt popped out and it's like oh yeah you're worthy you can have the you can have a ring again and he was like nah no thanks <laughs> nah it's all right bro <laughs> So yeah, so it's yeah. Who knows? And then we saw Ganthit third, you know, in the thirty first century. But yeah, I don't think we've seen present Ganthit in a while. Yeah, but you know, I mean, if it weren't for Emerald Twilight and then this run, you know, we wouldn't have got my favorite run, of course, later. But, oh yeah, you know, this this run doesn't just exist to get us there. It's still it's it's good on its own. It's just much much different than what came before and what came after. Definitely. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I think we're uh, again. It, it's a decent enough story, but I think Chuck Dixon's strengths lie in like more street level heroes, like you know Punisher and oh, God. Green Arrow, and oh, <laughs> oh God, what's his name? Batman, oh, my yeah. favorite character. Yes. <laughs> or how at one point? I mean, yeah, yeah, in the nineties, he was writing Batman and Tim Drake and Nightwing all at the same time, uh, and yeah. Birds of Prey, I think. So it's oh yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he he has street level characters down. So, well, and I think that ultimately that street level attitude to characters like Green Lantern uh, doesn't necessarily work, right? Mm, uh, no, I mean, and again, this is th- these two issues were not bad. And ag- just, and again, I don't I don't know if there's like. If if a writers other than Mars are like tempted to say, oh hey, this is the new Green Lantern, so you know, and they there's a temptation to write him as inexperienced. Meanwhile, again, like we said, how many issues has he already been around? How much has he? He's contained a supernova already, so it's like yeah, DC one million. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's uh, that's pretty high up there on the old uh, resume, you know, yeah. event. He's already right. <laughs> he's, he's already time t- traveled a few times in the span of a few months, you know. Yeah, a couple months. Yeah, forward, backward, forward, way forward, <laughs> and then back. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, again, I don't know if that's again new right different writer, and then there's the yeah attraction of oh hey it's the new guy we can write him as the rookie, and it's like he's really not the rookie at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, I, to get back to to this series. The, the, the final battle and, and the wave thing that they created that wasn't really ever explained very well either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that aside, I would have thought that a battle between Kyle, who is experienced but not a veteran, okay, I think that's fair to say, and someone who really didn't have training but has had the ring and messed with it for 20 years would have been... A little more exciting, a little it lasts a little bit longer. Yeah, it was it was kind of just oh, I'm almost you almost got me, uh, but I'm gonna you know kick your butt because you have the other one here. And I guess they and the two, I guess they didn't want to keep Cal out of his own book for too long, but it's just kind of weird where it's just like two oversized issues, and it's like okay, that's it, I give up, back to Earth. Yeah, yeah, I know. It just seems like that's it. <laughs> that's all you're gonna do. Okay, and I'll make all the rings disappear except for the one Jade has because. She won't lose it. That's not a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. She lost it. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. Should we get to the Green Lantern issues? Let's get there. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Green Lantern. We're going to do Green Lantern 111 and 112. So, Green Lantern, Volume 3, Number 111, April 1999. Fatal Attraction. Oh, who could that be? Glenn <laughs> uh, Close? What? Uh, writer, of course, friend of the sh- friend of the show. Uh, this is Ron Mars. You are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Penciler Daryl Banks, inker Terry Austin, colors Rob Schwager, letterer Chris Iliopoulos, and editor Kevin Dooley and Harvey Richards. So yeah, so we got the regular team here. So mm-hmm. uh, okay, here we go. We're not even. Not even going to beat around the bush. Fatality is back and looks to finally kill John Stewart, who is responsible for the destruction of her home planet, Zanchi. She finds Stewart in an Asian restaurant together with his girlfriend, Marin, the Thallus, and Jade. Fatality attacks them head on and is surprised that she also has to face a new Green Lantern. <laughs> uh, fatality quickly just... Dis- oh, and 
doesn't even mention it here, but uh, John's on his feet. Well, I think they take care of that. Yeah, at the end, but I thought Parallax had already... Nah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. All right. Fatality quickly dispatches Jade and then confronts John Stewart. John tries to explain his actions regarding Zanshi. He also hopes he's able to use the power he received from Hal Jordan, but but because nothing is happening, it's Marin who attacks Fatality with a chair. When Fatality injures Marin, uh, John's powers show up and Jade also is up again. This time, Jade fares better, but she is still no match for a trained interstellar killer like Fatality. Uh, they don't mention it here, but she forgets to charge her, or she doesn't charge her ring, so it runs out. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, Cal Rayner returns from his adventures in space just in time to save his girlfriend's life. And setting up for, I believe, next week, somewhere else, a man, uh, the man Martin Van Wick runs in front of a car completely naked. He has not run over, but his eyes are like flames, and he repeatedly asks what they have done to him. Uh, again, I believe that's for next week, kids, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, do you want to you want to give any thoughts now, or should we just uh, do both and then discuss this? Uh, totally up to you, man. How do you, how do you want to proceed? Uh, you know what? Let's do the second one, then we'll okay throw out our thoughts on this. Because all right, so Green Lantern one twelve May nineteen ninety nine, standing tall. <laughs> uh, same team. Oh, except uh, letterer Willie Schubert. I think I think about a different letterer. Uh, Green Lantern Kyle Rayner is back on Earth and once again faces Fatality, who is known for having killed numerous other Green Lanterns. Cal easily puts some energy shackles on Fatality before he is welcomed back by Jade with a kiss. But Fatality frees herself, knocks out Cal, and then teleports herself and John Stewart onto her spaceship. Bubble up, dude. Bubble up. <laughs> Cal creates a new battery so that Jade is able to recharge her power ring. Because remember, he took a piece of his lantern, I think, yeah. <laughs> Then, the, then both pursue Fatality's spaceship. Using their combined powers, they shoot the ship down and the fight continues in the Atlantic Ocean. Jade is not careful and Fatality is able to take the ring away from her. Cal now needs uh, to help Jade before she drowns and gets knocked out by Fatality again. Suddenly, John takes over using his mysterious powers and after a short but intense fight, the ocean is shaken by a huge underwater explosion. After the explosion, both Fatality and the Power Ring are gone. John depleted all the powers Hal Jordan gave him, so his legs again are paralyzed. And with the Power Ring gone, Jade's short time as Green Lantern is over as well. <laughs> For now. Uh, <laughs> so, somewhere, um, yeah, and then somewhere in the hospital, Martin Van Wick is examined by a doctor when he suddenly goes up in flames without hurting himself. All right. I think uh, that past Parallax didn't take everything okay i was still walking around several we saw him walking around several times he walked into the restaurant right yeah and then, yeah that 80 page giant member were like shouldn't he yeah. be in a wheelchair yeah i mean they kind of played it like that at the end of emerald nights where it's like oh i can't walk you know but i guess it was just temporary maybe mm -hmm. so now i think he's paralyzed until uh judd winnick's run I, I believe yeah and how i don't remember how did he get healed uh, bu 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 I forget if there's other things going on, but I th I thought part of it was like psychosomatic, maybe. But it, okay. again, I haven't reread him in a while. There might be some other element to it too. But and we'll get there, I guess. Oh wait, a, oh wait a minute. I think that summary might have uh, credited uh, Daryl Banks, but uh, the penciler on 112 was Ron Lim. That's right. Absolutely, uh, Ron freaking Lim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so the ring goes over to Anarchy. I might actually have that issue of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah. Along with the, what we were planning on doing next week. Yeah, I mean, even if we just like skim over them quick. Yeah, I put the three first three issues of Anarchy in it because I can't remember if he shows up in two or not. But yeah, issue three, Cal's on the cover. So, gotcha. yeah, so um, the, and the ring shows up there. And I believe some maniac keeps well, I don't know if anyone even knows he has it, but some maniac holds on to it until Cal gives it back to Jade during when it's run. Batman, my favorite character. <laughs> nice. I think. I'm trying to remember. The, we'll, 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 re we'll do the reread. We'll let you know next week. Yeah. So, you know, there's... If only Cal had kept another rank. <laughs> <laughs> there's something... There's something that bothers me about Fatality. And it's it has to do with, you know, she's killed so many Green Lanterns. Yes. Right? 
And apparently she killed Green Lanterns before the central power battery went out. I mean, is that a fair assessment? Uh, I don't know. Do they ever come out? I mean, we can assume that, but I don't. Do they ever come out and say it? I mean, sh- they show she had like power batteries and stuff. So, so I would assume because wh- why? Why would she be grabbing? I mean, unless it's just trophies, why would she be grabbing dead batteries? I don't know. Yeah. So that if that's the case, you know, it, Green Lantern should be nearly impossible to defeat, in my opinion. Okay, it should take a lot. You know, not just someone who's really, really angry that... And she's not even angry at the person that actually blew up her planet. She's angry at the person that failed to save her planet. <laughs> yes. Which has always bothered me, but... Well, I think, you know, she, I think she's mad at the whole system of Green Lanterns, because if there had no, not been any Green Lanterns... I'm, 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 I'm just guessing, but I'm just saying, I think she's like, oh, you know... If there were no Green Lanterns, maybe my planet would still be alive. And oh, hey, John Stewart, you were the person who actually dropped the ball. So yeah. I really want you dead. But uh, I don't like the fact that Green Lanterns are so easy to kill. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that bothers me, and, and I mean, and that's her whole shtick. Now I know she comes back. I mean, and, and, well, here's the other thing: if she if she killed them before Emerald Twilight, shouldn't that uh, mortality thing on the ring uh, made it extra hard for her to kill them? Yeah, I, I would have thought so. Maybe it's just maybe she killed them post, but how, she was able to find that many and kill that many you know, in the short time since the central power battery. I mean, as we saw with Ganord, a lot of them might have been stranded on planets. I mean, so they it's not like they could escape. But yeah, I guess tracking them down. I don't know. Anyway, that's something that annoys me about her because Green Lanterns are supposed to be, you know, Green Lanterns, right? Yeah. They're, they're these, you know, I, I, <laughs> yeah, we never really get the full explanation, but I mean, it, maybe like some of those male Green Lanterns, could she like try to seduce them, get those rings off, and then just like stab them in the back or something, you know, something. Yeah, or something like that. It's just, you know, it, it feels like it. Well, she has that spear thing, so I'm assuming she has like she weapons is. and stuff, so maybe she's like. Mm-hmm had someone make her weapons that could kill green lanterns well potentially it, it just seems like it diminishes yeah you know green lanterns because oh hey we're just oh we need somebody to die here let's throw a green lantern <laughs> here let's throw yeah because there's so many uh, you know so many there's of so them. many of them yeah. yeah but anyway that's that's something that annoys me but yeah, yeah. And, and again you know back in the day there was 3600 you know more recently there's been 7200 so it's like oh yeah we can throw some faceless you know Green Lanterns we never met there to get mm-hmm. killed. Or, yep. Although, didn't John recognize one on this ship, though? Yeah, oh, Stell. It was Stell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And again, yeah, I don't know the point of fatality. You know, if it's just to build Kyle up and it, you know, and, and it's like a link to John Stewart's past. So, well, and then it gets, you know, post rebirth, she comes back and it gets a little bit weird because I think she becomes like a star sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then. Well, it's, it even gets weird because, like, in Winnix run around the time where, like, John, like, starts walking again and stuff, like, Fatality, again, we'll have to wait for the reread. I haven't read them in a couple years, but I sw- like, Fatality shows up and, like, I swear Winnick almost has it where she's almost, like, obsessed with him, like, attracted to him almost, and it's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like, oh, yeah, you blame him for killing your whole planet, but, uh, I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get oh, there. we'll get there. <laughs> Probably get there for but, the end I mean, of the year. This, this two-parter was, you know, basically they go out, fatality attacks, she gets away. Like Cal swoops they, in, saves the day. Yeah, they get away, and then they track her down, and then she disappears again. So, it, And we lost all those rings. How, j- <laughs> how, how, how went through all that for nothing? <laughs> That's right. All that trouble for nothing. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> You know what? Well, if if we, I mean, again, we have no idea where Ganthet is, but couldn't Ganthet make another ring? I think so. He made the, he made cows. I mean, well, he 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 took the broken Hal Jordan one and made it, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's enough powerless rings out there. You could take one and just nudge it a little, right, <laughs> and then charge it. Co- I there mean, there are there are. You know, if you looked on Fatality's ship, even shouldn't there be rings on her ship? And I mean, and I mean, Jade charged that you know that caught you know that how Jordan ring off a, a piece of Cal's battery. So couldn't we start charging rings off Cal's battery? Exactly. I it's at least pull one out for Jade out of that ship. Yeah, I mean, anyway, yeah, I, I, 
Well, maybe that's why we blew the ship up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The ship got blown up. Okay. <laughs> so should so should there be like powerless green lantern rings all on the bottom of the Atlantic? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Cal and, go. Cal go look. Yeah, Cal go look for it. You know, one of the other things was could Kyle have just put a bubble around Marin and said bubble go to the hospital and then you know. Yeah, but uh, I guess yeah, but is it just though? Hey, we need more full concentration. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. So, yeah. and, I, and and I mean, was it, how hurt? How badly hurt was she? Because I mean, from the art, you really, I mean, you don't see any bruises or anything. Mean, like, but we see her again. This is the first time we've seen her in yeah quite a while. And then she writes literally, literally writes a dear John letter. I think that we see. Oh yeah, eventually. Yeah, I think eventually. It's, is that eventually. Winnick, I think that might be Winnick's run too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because yeah, because most of the time we see John Stewart anymore. It's you know, it's guys' night at Warriors. You know, sitting there yeah. drinking, telling stories about themselves or other people. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh hey, this. Is a, oh my God, you real? They could really do deep dives. It's like you know, there was thirty six hundred of them. They're like, oh yeah, hey, this. You know, the, the guy over in Sector Five Two Seven told me this story once. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> F sharp bell told me this story. <laughs> oh my god! And John has so many mosaic. Why isn't John pulling out mosaic stories? That, you know, as soon as mosaic was canceled, it's like it, it never happened. It's yeah, like it never happened because the next time we see him, it's like, oh, he wakes up, his ring's gone. Oh, it's not exploded yet, but he's like, okay, the controller wants him, and he becomes a dark star. Yeah, I mean, it was. Do you think maybe they don't mention Mosaic because then everyone will be like, oh, oh hey, that's right. Isn't John a guardian? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plus, I don't know. I don't know when and ha- when people knew whatever, but I mean, he will not be named wrote those too. So, yeah. And that, but we didn't really know about that until what, five or six years ago, I guess. Okay. That's what I thought. So, yeah, okay. So, so I guess they just didn't want to touch that. John Stewart was a guardian story. Well, and, and, you know, they really don't touch on, they really don't touch on anything from Green Lantern Corps quarterly. Yeah, no. They don't touch on any of, you know, basically Green Lantern volume three up until Emerald Twilight. And again, too, is that just, you know, do they think that's counter to their original plan of, oh, hey, we're going to wipe the slate clean and give you one Green Lantern, Cal Rayner. Yeah, I think so, because, you know, they don't even right around the time of Emerald Twilight, we kind of got a soft reboot of Guy Gardner. You know, we got Guy Gardner year one. Oh, yeah. And he was done with the ring and he was Voldarian or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that actually, when you get right down to it, the period from the end of volume two all the way up to Emerald Twilight really isn't talked about at all. Yeah, no. I mean, Action Comics Weekly, yeah, we get it. Totally get it, right? And, I mean... You know, the road back's pretty good. Not as good as I remember it, but still pretty good. And then, you know, the rest of Volume 3 of the Emerald Twilight is just kind of it, passable. Well, well it's, so, it's so weird because they they were building the core back up and they didn't even get a full rebuild before they tore the ball back down again. Yeah, exactly. And they and, really tore it down. <laughs> and they really tore it down. Now, but Kilowog and Sinestro are the only on-screen, you know, this is how Jordan killed them. Yeah. Right? The rest were, you know, not shown to be killed. Mm-hmm. But then Kilowog was the, and then you know, Kilowog's brought back. Is that in the? Oh, the, it, oh, we'll get there. Yeah, it's like in the. I think it's in the one sixties or something. Yeah, it, it. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, it'll be in this series. It'll be. Yeah, before we get the rebirth. Yeah, I'll be back. I thought that was that was interesting. You know, he's back, and then we get you know what what they they call now the the four core. Cor- Corsman, right? Hal, John, Kyle, and Guy, mm-hmm. which are pretty cool. I do like all of them. Oh yeah, for different, for different reasons. <laughs> but uh, what's coming up next? All right, so yes, next week, as I said, we'll find out what happened to that ring. Uh, we're going to cover, like I said, if we want to just uh, go through them real quick. Anarchy one through three. And I think it's like, I don't know if it's the second series. There might have been a mini or I think there was an Anarchy mini series. So yeah, it's like, yeah, look for 1999 kids. Yeah, Anarchy 1 through 3. Uh, original plan Green Lantern 113 and 114 featuring new villain Effigy. Cool. And, uh, Green Lantern 80 page giant number 2. Cool. Uh, 
Oh, and then I made a change uh, to the episode after that. In two weeks, yeah, we're going to go with our original plan, Green Lantern 115 and 116. And I threw something in we missed that was like pre-issue 100, Green Lantern Fear itself. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's so. the one where it's like, you know, you get different time. Uh, yeah, you see uh, Al. What? Isn't that painted too? No, I, th- I think it might be. Uh, it yeah, yeah, because I have like, they, they actually did it in hardcover and then I think they put it out. In like I'm soft cover, but I do have the hard cover. You know, I might have that up on the shelf. It's like white. It's like a white cover. Well, at least the hard cover was. Yeah, I think I've got that somewhere. Yeah, so yeah, in two weeks. Yeah, Green Lantern 115, 116, and Green Lantern Fear itself. Cool. All right, so. And then you've got some idiot subbing for. Uh... Oh, yes. That's right, kids. Yes, uh, for all the month of September or September, yes. <laughs> on uh, Unlimited Justice to take Lilith's place. Yes, Mr. Will Allred and I will be doing some Legion of Superheroes. Uh, the first... I am that some idiot. <laughs> and once again, just like with Summer of 69, Mr. Allred opens the whole month. Uh, I believe it's October 1st. It drops. Yeah, uh, the Great Darkness saga. So. Nice. Looking forward to rereading that. It's been... Quite a few years. Ago. And timely, because the Great Darkness is playing a part in Dark Crisis right now. So that is true, very true. So yeah, and I believe I, I believe yeah, we get five weeks of that. So once again, Mister Will, you get more Mister Will all red <laughs> during these events. What? Uh, when can we expect the next issue of Dark Crisis on Infinite Earth? Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> what would that be? Number four. Yeah, I'll look this up right now. It should be in a week or two, right? Um, I'm trying to remember when did three come out? I thought three came out like maybe was it two weeks ago or so? Um, let me see. I looked this up for you. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earth number four comes out September sixth. Oh, okay. So, so it's almost like was the day after. More weeks. I believe it's the day after Labor Day. Yeah. So three, or three more weeks, I guess. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh! Look, got a screaming how Jordan on the. <laughs> cover oh i think that's Hallie and wally so oh yeah mm-hmm. i know this i know to well, i'll pick it up tomorrow there's a flash dark crisis so i'll let you know if Hal's in that but oh, yeah they're like they're in chains on the cover or something right yeah i don't know if that's this week uh, this month or not but if not this issue probably the next one so gotcha hopefully Hal will be in both so cool. so yeah so another appearance of Hal jordan at some point in the flash book so and we still we got kyle at the end of dark crisis number three yeah. yeah yeah well wait uh no at the end of two that's when they go to give Kyle his ring yeah okay. and then in three they all go to like try to take on pry and he kind of like blasts them all and that's when Hal wakes up in space sector john stewart <laughs> uh, but we did get guy kyle and Hal. yep all there I joe guess. was there yeah and- everybody Pretty much everyone was there except, of course, John, and I don't think Jessica was there because she's I'm pretty sure she's still a Yellow Lantern. But yeah, yeah, everyone else was pretty much there. So Arisia was there, even oh. though she's dead. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't have a lot of dialogue, but I believe Kilowog was in the back there too. Dark Sector, yeah. <laughs> All hands on deck. That's right. John must have brought him back over and given him a ring. Or something. That's right. That's All right. <laughs> all right kids so yes uh yeah I'll, I'll let you know next week if there's any you know if how shows up in flash or anything like that so uh email us your thoughts on anarchy on uh green lantern email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38 capes and remember you can find sector 2814 on facebook on twitter uh join the green lantern facebook fan group uh I believe we're over 900 members already. So, yeah, so help us hit a thousand here. Uh, so, yeah, find all that. Find all the links for all the various social medias for all the DC and Marvel shows we do, especially so you know what's coming up in September and all the co hosts and who's hosting what. So, uh, links to the YouTube channel because all of that, uh, everything we do gets a video, creator interviews, all our specials. So, as the. <laughs> quote unquote lady says uh smash that subscribe button smash it. uh so you don't miss that and again of course the uh patreon again we're paying for this out of our own pocket no guardians that back us up every little bit counts but three to five dollars gets you early access to creator interviews including 
the monthly Chichester Chats. I got the good mic out for you guys. And the August episode, we'll have special guest also, Fabian Nitsa on there. So, two creators, kids. Two classic creators. All right. And, of course, that that's not enough because Lil's Hellfire loves to torture people. Superhero movie brackets. We see Will can attest to that now. Superhero movie brackets. We will find the worst superhero movie of all time. You have found it. Yes. <laughs> August starts the Indies, and we'll, we'll, uh, August episode will be League of Extraordinary Gentlemen versus Sin City 2, a damn to kill for. <sighs> so find all that. And, of course, Capes and Lunatics and Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks merch. Find it all at linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. Uh, speaking of Frank Miller, I saw a link today. I guess him and Dan Dito's thing is about ready to rev up... Uh, they oh, yeah, they have their own company now, don't they? Yeah, that's that. This is going to be something to see, kids. I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, and of course, remember, we're trying to bring back our uh, core member, Matt Kona. But until then, find him everywhere on social media at Matt Kona, M A T T K O N A. And of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Master Thor, Master of the Quantum Zone, Master of the Kickstarter. Master of Podcasting, Mr. Will Allred. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me at Walred. At, at w- did you just do the Hal Jordan with the ten rings? Nah, I just did that. Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, I thought you were just like, hang on, I can get some rings. And do no, that. no, 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 that's okay. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Walred. That's at W-A-L-L-R-E-D at Gmail and Twitter and Facebook and other social media that I don't even really remember at this point. Um, you can also find out all kinds of cool stuff about Crossover Division. Uh, we just funded uh, Crossover Division number four and are finishing up the art so we can do some filming hopefully in the next month or so, which is pretty cool. But you can find that at CrossoverDivision.com. Thanks. And then also you can find out about uh, Diary of Night at DiaryofNight.com uh, with artist Gene Gonzalez. And uh, I do podcasts a little bit. I have a great host that uh, I hang with every Tuesday night. Uh, Phil, <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> on this podcast. Yes, and then uh, every Friday night I get together with uh, Kevin Joseph, uh, another comics writer, and we uh, try to shine a spotlight on comics Kickstarters that are uh, active on Kickstarter and talk to their creators. And we do that every Friday night. It's called Explain Yourself. And finally, if you love Green Lantern, then obviously you have good taste, and you also love Quasar because, of course, you do. If you want to find out more about Quasar, you can. Go to quantumzone.org to find out more. I'll put it in my navel. <laughs> Five inches, maybe. <laughs> I am God. Oh my God, Lilith and I just did like two episodes of uh, the Justice League podcast on like uh, Flash and Grodd story. She goes, "Oh my God, we should add Will say I am Grodd." <laughs> I am <laughs> Great God. <quote. laughs> it's like, damn it! Why did I think of that before? <laughs> I of course love how Jordan. Editing, kids, editing. All right, kids, thank you for joining us. Come back in one week. Anarchy 1 through 3, Green Lantern 113 and 114, and Green Lantern 80 page giant number 2. Awesome. Man, so we're not too far from the end of uh, Mars's run, man. Like 12 like issues. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I just... Run last year of Mars. Last year, Mars. Good <laughs> Mars. Sounds like a good title. Last year. Oh, somebody should write a comic about that. <laughs> All right, kids, come back next time, and remember, the Chinese. If the uh, Asian food doesn't kill you, psychopaths will. Good night. <laughs> and we don't mention the new core. That's right. I am Connor from the House of L. And I am Ray from the House of Zod. We are two of the many, many survivors of Krypton's destruction, and we have made our home in Australia, and dare I say have become Australians, for better or worse. But we have also decided to read Superman comics, read Superman books, watch Superman shows, cartoons, movies, basically everything Superman, and from an Australian perspective as well. Whether you're a seasoned fan, like me, or whether you are coming in fresh, wide-eyed and wanting to learn more like me, then this podcast is for you. Join us for our bi-weekly adventures available on all good podcast catches. Just search for Last Sons of Krypton 
a Superman podcast. We'll be coming to you from Australia or some cosmic dimension, wherever we are that week. Up, 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 up and, and away. away.